I'm an experienced FIFA skiller for more than five years, and I am going to be revealing why you are struggling with skills, pointing out the mistakes that you didn't even know you were making, and most importantly, how to fix it. Doesn't matter if you are starting out or just looking to sharpen your skills, this video is going to be very useful for you. Seriously, I am not joking. These are the five key factors that will automatically make you a better skiller and level up your skills. Starting with the first truth and the most obvious one is wrong, players. <laughs> Let me explain. It may seem obvious, bro, but don't try to skill with your 80 overall center back with 50 of agility and two star of skills. Like, bro, stop, stop it. it. Not every player is prime Ronaldinho with 99 of agility. If you're trying to pull off Neymar moves with a player that has 70 of dribbling, let me tell you, you're doing it wrong. Make sure you're using players with good agility. I recommend that the player you are going to use has as many stars as possible so that you have the possibility to do more skills. Okay, so now you have a good player to skill with, but how do you do it? Well, that bring us to the next secret of skilling that is the most useful one. In 1v1 situations, it's all about speed. But I don't mean it that way. I am saying that it needs to be fast. Don't overcomplicate things too much. Most people do this wrong. In most cases, to get past the defender, you simply have to do one move to throw the defender off balance to one way and just run the other way. Look at this example right here. My rival thinks I'm going that way and he covers that space. Because of that, I simply go the other way. Look, without over dribbling, just knowing how to throwing off balance defenders. Oh, and then the next guy gets absolutely violated. Another example with some more advanced skills. Here, I just go this way. He thinks I'm going that way, but then I flick it the other direction to score a crazy goal just like that. Stop over dribbling and don't use skills just for the sake of it to just look cool. Also, be smart about when and where you pull off those moves. Don't skill in your box like I just did in the last clip. This is bad. Really bad. This is bad. This is very, Stephen very bad. To sum up, quick skills are your secret weapon. They're not just about looking fancy, they're about throwing defenders off balance and creating opportunities to exploit the space that you just created. There's the secret, finding and exploiting open spaces with skills is key. And that's why you must understand why finding and creating spaces is one of the most important thing when it comes to skilling. You must see the open space and exploit it. Let's face it, most players struggle with skills because they miss the fundamentals. It's not just about flicking the joystick, it's about finding the right spaces in a right timing. All competitive FIFA players know this and they know exactly how to do it quick, decisive skills in the right space can turn the tide of the game. So now you may ask, how in the world do I find and create the space? Move the ball around, drag defenders out of position and exploit the gaps. Use quick skill moves and changes of direction to open up the field. The key here is to destabilize the opponent with a simple and quick movement in one direction and then exploit in the other direction to leave the defender in the dust. So as you saw, being able to find spaces is absolutely crucial. As much as the next factor, skills need to be done at the right moment. That's why your timing and execution is so important. If your timing is off, even the best moves will flop. Don't rush. In most cases, patience is essential. Now, here's where the magic happens. It has to be at the right moment. Don't do it before or after. For example, in this clip right here, I'm in the midfield, a very crowded area. In this moment, I see my opponent coming towards me from above. Now you tell me, where is the space available in this play? Right here. So I just flick the ball upwards, making a change of direction just in the right moment. This is gonna kill my rival. Then we just follow the same process as I told. Find the space, where is it? Okay, here, now we just do another change of directions. I continue and I see this defender coming right towards me. Now, what can I do? A skill at the right moment. Then I see another defender coming and I execute one of the simplest skill moves in the game, a roulette. We are implementing all the secret truths that I have just explained. Finally, another change of direction to destroy that entire defense and we end up scoring with a cheeky finish. 
Even the best meta moves won't work if you don't execute them at the right moment. Timing is everything. Okay, so if we mix all the tips that I've explained, we only have one remaining. In my opinion, the most important one. Make the unexpected. Think about it. When you see Neymar doing all those skills, what all of his skills have in common? The defender didn't expect his move. That's why me and all the football fans, it's football, not soccer. That's why we enjoyed watching Neymar at Barcelona in his prime and all those skillers. Instead of passing it back, they take the risk to skill and they do unexpected things. If you don't even try, you'll never get it. Because his skills are so unexpected, it makes rivals doubt. They don't know what will he do in the next play. You have to do the same. And to do that, don't overthink the skills that you are going to do, just, just do, it. do it. At least try it, give it a shot, that's how all the pros started. Before going into the final tip, leave a like and comment what other tips needed to be covered. As you are seeing, the timing in this clips is crucial. You have to do the same. And to do that, don't overthink the skills that you are going to do, just do it. At least try it, give it a shot, that's how all the pros started. If you skill your defender, Nice. If you fail or the defender did a great tackle, <laughs> nice also, because that's how you get better, trying and practicing. Remember, every pro was once a noob. Keep practicing, stay patient, and soon you'll be the one making defenders look silly. And finally, the most important advice I can give you is to just have fun at the game. For me, is doing skills. Yes, it's fun to win games, but I strongly believe that having fun at the game is the main thing. That's why we all play this game, not to just be a sweaty and win 10 to 0. I don't know, it's just my point of view. And you now may be thinking, all these tips of how to be a better skiller are great, but you haven't told me which skills do I need to use, and I would answer... You're goddamn right. That's why I made this video of the best skills to start in AFC 25. See you there!